Hello. Here's another video of Microsoft Teams. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an assignment in your class or class assignment. So what you do is you log into uh, Microsoft Teams, click the subject area that you're going to your subject, your class, and then in the middle, you want to click assignments, the assignments tab. And once you click assignments, you can create, you have a week review and new assignment. So I'm going to click new assignment. And I'm going to enter the title for this assignment. So here I'm going to write um, uh, this writing assignment. Writing assign. And this is called, the writing assignment is called Dangling Mod If I Okay. Uh, fill out the worksheet instructions. You can write detailed instructions here. Um, you can let them know how many points it is, when it's due. Uh, just uh, let them know of what they're supposed to do in this um, instructions. I'm just going to say fill out the dangling modifiers uh, worksheet. All right. Next, you can specify a due date. So my due date would be, here's a calendar that comes up. I'm just going to choose next week, the due time. If you're going to allow your students to turn them in late, you can say yes or no. Turn in late, turn in late, uh, allowed, yes or no. I'm just going to say no. Um, points, if you're going to give points, uh, yes or no. Now, this is very important. Right now, Microsoft still uh, has a glitch in this points area. My suggestion and recommendation to you is to wait uh, until you're going to post and give points. So for right now, just leave it at no. So that way you can collaborate with back and forth to your students. Because if you say yes, then you will not be able to collaborate. That's the Microsoft is going to fix that. So. I would leave the points at no. Okay, next you need to do is you need to create reference materials. If you want to create reference materials, you can. All right. Now, next one is specify what students will turn in. Well, since this is a worksheet writing assignment, we want to attach the worksheet. So what we can do is attach the worksheet. So this is what they're going to be turning in. And click specify what teachers or students will turn in here you have an option you have your onedrive shows up you can choose things from your onedrive so you can attach a your worksheet um, uh, into this now if you have a pdf uh, they will not accept the pdf so what you have to do is you have to convert that pdf to a word document or powerpoint or excel then you can attach it into here okay so uh, they, you cannot edit PDFs at this point, but you can attach uh, Word documents, PowerPoints, and, and uh, uh, Excel documents. Oh, next thing is new file. If you wanted to attach a blank file to this assignment, you can do that. So it's a plain uh, Word document, PowerPoint, or Excel. You can attach that for this for what the students will turn in. And if you don't have anything in your OneDrive, if you're not going to specify a file, new file, you can upload from your computer. So if you upload from your computer, if you have things in your H drive and Word document, you can upload to your class assignment here. All right. In this example, what I'm going to do is I have something in my OneDrive. Now in my OneDrive, I have the worksheet in here. So let's go down to the Danglings Modifiers Worksheet under my teaching. And then I go to English 11. And then I scroll down to my worksheet. And there it is. Dangling Modifiers Worksheet. 
This is typically what I usually send to the copier and they prints out. And this is uh, what I would hand out to the kids to write down. And then, uh, but we can do this online now. So you don't have to print out anything. You don't have to hand anything out and have the responsibility of kids handing it back in. You can do it this way. So after I attach what the students will turn in, it'll upload for each of those students to grab this worksheet. Okay. And so after I'm all done with the new assignment, and make all my recommendations. Again, leaving the points to know until you assign the points, okay? And then after you're done, you can go ahead and assign it. If you don't wanna assign it yet, and you wanna save it as a draft, you can do that and then sign it later. But in this case, since I have everything ready to go, I'm going to click Assign. So it shows up here that it's due on the 24th, the writing assignment is here in a calendar, and it's assigned to the students, ready to go. In this next video, I'm going to show you how to review students' work that has been turned into you. Thank you.